Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Car Boot Chris and today I'm going to show you some really useful items that you can use to clean and fix your products before you list them and sell them. So stay tuned, here we go. So I use a variety of products, I've got a selection here most of what I can think of that I use pretty much on a daily basis, I have to say. Um, now, you guys probably use similar items. It will be interesting to hear from you. Let me know what you use to clean your stuff before you list it and sell it, um, especially clean and repair, anything like that. Uh, and if you've got any tips for me, then please drop a comment because I am by no means any kind of expert. This is just what I use on a daily basis. Um, so let's start with this one. Baby wipes. Now, use these absolutely every day without fail. They're really great for wiping things. Baby wipes. They're great for wiping things down. Um, there's not much else to say about it, really. I use it on clothing. I use them on figures, toys, figurines ceramic items, anything that's got a little bit of grime on it, baby wipe is your answer. That is a go-to item. I have to buy those every couple of weeks. Um, what else have we got? Another go-to item, especially if you're into clothing, is the good old lint sticky. This is a sticky remover. Um, so yeah, I've got plenty of these. And when you've you know, when you've done your thing, you've got rid of all your lint off your clothing and your little bits of hairs and dog hairs and stuff like that, because I don't like to send anything that's got dog hairs on it. Um, then you just peel um, off and it's clean and ready to go again. Happy days. This is a godsend. Use it, I have to say, almost every day, probably. Whenever I'm listing clothing, for sure. Um, so that's an excellent item to have. What else have we got here? Let's stick with clothing. This thing costs about five quid. It's um, it's another lint remover, but it's like for bubbles, like bubbles on your clothing. Um, you just go over it here, get all your little bubbles out. The only thing I would say with these is don't use them on football shirts or that kind of material. You know, like cycling jerseys. Yeah, I know all about those. Um, football shirts, stuff like that, unless you're very, very careful because you can end up pulling a hole in, in the product, in the um, clothing. Look, this is probably a couple of weeks worth in there. If you have a look, look at all that that's come off clothing that I've tidied up, especially like when you're dealing with vintage clothing, it gets very bubbly. So that's a godsend. Uh, these are about five, five or 10 pound maximum. Um, I think you can get them on Amazon. There might even be a link actually um, below um, for my Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy one of these. I'm pretty sure that, that it's on there. I earn about 5p off it if you buy one. So, yay. Uh, so that's that. That's a good one. Um, let's have a look. So what about, before I go on to the sort of main cleaning things that I use, what about sort of repairing? Um, well, it's always good to have a little set. This isn't really a set. These I've collected these over time. It's good to have a little selection of mini screwdrivers, uh, especially, you know, when you've got to take those little tiny button batteries out of toys and things. Um, just have a set of screwdrivers. If you've not got screwdrivers, then, you know, you need to get them if you're a serious reseller. I'm probably preaching to... What do you call that? I don't even know the phrase. Preaching to the converted already, or you guys know what you're doing. But if you're maybe if you're new to reselling, this little selection of stuff might be useful for you. Um, so that's those little screwdrivers, very useful. Tweezers helps you get little things out of small places. Always handy to have a little pair of tweezers. You can pull out little bits of crap out of things. I can't even think of an example, but I've used them. Um, 
super glue. You wouldn't want to be without super glue. Just for the little tiny repairs. You can get these in like the pound shop. You can get like 10 of these for a pound. You know, it costs next to nothing. Very useful uh, for small minor repairs. Um, something that you might not have thought of was a rubber. I'm not talking about that kind of rubber. I'm talking about this kind of rubber. Um, and what I use this for, I've used it on things like toys and um, figures and stuff because you can, if you use the rubber, you can get off. Let me see if I've got a figure here. If there's little play marks where there's residue, um, you can use a rubber and you can rub it off and it will come off without leaving a mark. You just get rid of it. There's not really much. I'm going to show you an, a cleaning example on this figure in a little while, but there's not much on here that I can use it on. But it helps. You can use it on all kinds of stuff. Um, just like little residue marks, the rubber will get them off. That's that. Now, you might have seen on the intro, a little um, brush, paintbrush. I've used this a lot in the past, you know, on consoles, computer games consoles, you know, on the grills at the back or down the little grooves of the shape of the console, especially the um, air grill at the back, you know, the vent, get all that dust out of there. Just get in there with the uh, paintbrush and get it out. That's what I've used it before, but you can use it on ornaments that are dusty, you know, that have got very small little cracks, anything really to get dust out of places. Um, yeah, comes in handy that. Now, this is Annabelle's, Annabelle's toothbrush, as you can probably see. It's minging. Um, I borrowed it and um, I use it with some of the other stuff that I'm about to show you. Um, now, especially I use it with white vinegar. And this is used, if you didn't know, most people know, most people know, but if you didn't know, this is mainly used um, to get, to clean up your battery contacts. The ones that have been leaked on, that have gone green and corroded. This will put a little tiny drop on your corroded battery compartment and it will fizzle away and dissolve all that horrible green stuff. And then I use the toothbrush to give it a scrub. Get in there, give it a scrub and it will clean up those battery contacts really well. Um, yeah, so they're very useful. This is a new bottle, I just bought one because I run out. That's actually Heinz, Heinz vinegar. Who knew? Um, yeah, so that comes in handy. These go hand in hand. Um, I think that's really all I use the white vinegar for. I can't think of another use for it. Uh, but I also um, use the toothbrush with this stuff. And this is cracking. I actually got this tip um, from another reseller to so go in B&M and look for this stuff. It's called the pink stuff. And it's been really useful over the last couple of weeks. It's like a paste. Just have a look in there. Pink paste. It's a cleaning product. And what I I'll tell you what I've been using it for. I'm going to show an example with um, the figure here with Gandalf, it's Gandalf, isn't it? Um, it's really great for getting residue off figures and toys. You know, like when kids play with toys, a bit like what I was saying with the rubber. Kids play with toys, um, they bash them together and they end up with little rubber marks, little scrap, little, where it le leaves a mark and it's quite hard to get it off without some assistance. So this stuff, it's, a cleaning product with a very tiny little bit of abrasive um, element to it. It's got a tiny bit of abrasive in it. Um, so you, with that in mind, you've got to be careful. You don't pull off any of the paintwork or anything of the item. You've got to use it very carefully, wipe it over. Um, sometimes I'll use a toothbrush. Sometimes I'll apply it with um, the good old baby wipes. Perfect combination. And it will clean things up nicely. So I'll come back to that in a minute and I'll show you an example of how that can work uh, with Gandalf. Uh, but what else have I got here? This is a real nice product to use. Vanish um, 
it's like a liquid that you would use on clothing. Um, you put it on and it gets off minor stains, nothing major, but any minor stains it will get off. And sometimes I'll put that on clothing before I put it in the washing machine, um, just to give it a bit of a, a boost on the old cleaning. But sometimes you can use that with a baby wipe and get marks off clothing, stains, minor stains. If it's like oil or something, you're gonna struggle. Minor stains, that's pretty good. That's that one. That's about that's about three or three or four pounds in BM, I think. Of course, I use this a lot. Mr. Muscle. It's important. You can get the cheap brands. You can get like Asda Zone or something, Tesco Smart Price, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, Mr. Muscle, but it's important to look for the green one that has vinegar in it. And if you saw my 60 second uh, tips video on cleaning discs, game discs. I use this a lot, um, along with, and I should have put some in here, some bog roll or some um, kitchen towel. So squirt a bit on your kitchen towel and, and you can clean the grime off your discs if you're very, very careful. Don't go overboard with it, just very lightly. It gets finger marks off. And I used to run a game shop for anybody who says this is a terrible idea. And this was brilliant. This is what I learned in the industry to use this stuff. Use it carefully. Make sure you wet that paper towel with this stuff first and then go on to the discs. Um, it won't get scratches off. It will just get fingerprints off. It will just make them nice and shiny. And then you kind of just blow dry it like that until it dries. The vinegar evaporates it. That's a good item to have. I also use that to clean like the front of game boxes, uh, PS1, PS2, PS4, whatever you want. Squirt the front, clean it off, nice, shiny and clean. Multiple the uses that, multitude of uses. Um, there's another pink stuff one that you can get. This one's a bit more runny. This is like a liquid and it's very similar to the tub, very similar to that, but it's in a liquid form. So you can use it in similar ways. Um, but it just says tough on stains, sparkling, sparkling clean, natural, whatever. Um, but you can use it to remove grease and grime. Uh, but again, it is slightly abrasive. But I've not used this one as much as the paste. The paste I find better. But I bought both of them because they're, they're like a pound each. They're going to last for about five years, literally. Look at all that in there. Look at all that gunk in there. That's going to last for ages. Now, the last thing I'm going to share with you is this. And there is a link in the description to my Amazon affiliates. And this thing is an absolute godsend for getting stickers or sticker residue off boxes, off DVDs, games, stuff like that. It's marvellous. It's absolutely belting. It's only a few quid from Amazon. They give you one of these with it, which helps get it off. What I tend to do is put a little drop on the sticker that won't come off. Hey, I can't send games out with stickers left on it that are like price stickers. I always try and get them off, uh, especially if it's half a sticker that's been ripped off. I have to get them off. So I put a couple of drops on it until it's dissolved onto the sticker. Leave it for 10, 20 minutes and then you either use your nail or use the scraper and it should come off pretty easy. Um, job done. This thing's belting, really is. That is well worth it. That's my second bottle this year, I think, that I've used. So that's that one. So what I'm going to do is do a quick demo of this pink stuff, because actually I think this is the best thing that I've found recently, is this stuff. So I think that's worth showing you. So let's move around. Let's move the camera. Let's go down. Go down to that, and um, we'll show you. Look, Gandalf. Let's find a bit of him that's a bit minging. There you go. Look at this. Look at inside here. It's all mouldy. Can you see? It's mouldy. It's minging. I ain't no way sending that to anybody. They'll send it straight back, and it just looks really bad on your um, shop. 
and it's sending nothing like that, it's disgusting. So here's what I would do first, probably I'll use a baby wipe first for starters, because a baby wipe might be, might be enough to get this off, but I don't think it is. Well, a baby wipe has actually just got the surface off it. As you can see, it's still a bit grimy. So this is where this stuff, and you don't need a lot, that's it. That's all I'm going to need on this. Um, it's go I'm pretty sure it's going to work on this. So, you get it off there. It's got that slight abrasive feel to it, which will lift off. I'm going to try and get into the gaps there. Let's get a tiny bit more. It's kind of run out. It's quite a big surface. Get into the into the plastic there and that looks pretty good now what you can do is just get a bit on your on your toothbrush i'm going to put this in the back in the pot later and annabelle can brush her teeth tonight with this should be that'll give her a nice little shot maybe it'll clean her up a bit so yeah there we go. That looks quite good. So now you want to, you don't want to leave that stuff on. So use your baby wipe, use the other half of it and just give it a good old wipe down. Give it a clean. That will get rid of all the cleaning product off it. Good old wipe. Go on. Don't be shy. And and there you have it. I'm pretty happy that I can continue and finish off this figure. If you have a look there, it was seriously grimy. All kinds of crap on it. And there you go. Sparkly clean. I'm going to finish off that in a minute because it'll take me probably about five minutes to clean this um, figure up. He's a bit dirty all around the skirt that he's wearing or whatever it is, the dress. And um, yeah. So, I really cannot highly, you know, recommend this stuff enough. And I think it's about a pound. It's an absolute bargain. Um, it's well worth buying. It's a little investment. It's a very little investment. It's really, you know, it's one of them things that you should have. I'm just going to set up here. And um, that is pretty much it. So I'll show you there. Here's some of the products that I use on a daily basis to clean and fix, mostly to clean. Don't really fix much with this stuff, but you fix it in respect as, as in it's fixed, ready to sell. You don't want to sell crap. You don't want to sell stuff that's dirty. So there you go. So I hope you found it interesting. Please drop me a comment. I'm really interested to know what you use to clean things um, and what does it clean in specific. So drop us a comment. Let me know what your best stuff is. I'd love to hear your tips because somebody gave me the tip for the pink stuff and now I just can't get enough of it. So if you've got a good tip for me, please drop me a comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. And we'll see you again on the next video. Take care, guys. See you later.